Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life, and today we're gonna to be checking out some affordable furnishing and decor spots. So we're gonna start off at Midwest. Thank you to Milani for the suggestion. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life, and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So just to let y'all know, as long as I feel I can add value to it, I am open to video suggestions. So Midwest is definitely one of my go-to spots for decor as well as furniture options. I really, really like how they mesh here. It's so realistic. Look at these headphones. I actually have this set. Every week, it seems like, or every weekend rather, they have some type of, well, they have weekend sales. They participate in the weekend sales just about every weekend. And so this is always a place that's on my list to go to and check out. They have a lot of modern as well as futuristic um, furniture items as well as decor. And y'all know, I really do like that. I like that they do have a nice modern flair to a lot of their options as well. Another thing that I do like that they do is they offer you the item separately. So like you can get the cart and you can do whatever you wanna do with the cart, but if you like their decor items, you can also use their decor items. They don't kinda of bog you down to having to use their items um, as far as their decor. They let you kinda of mix and match. And I like that. I, I really do like when they give you different options to choose from as far as how you want to decorate your space so like here they have the table but then if you want the decor pieces they'll sell the decor pieces separate just in case you only want the decor pieces and because of that the pricing does seem to be a little bit more um, well a lot more reasonable in my opinion when you have items where it's like the table and the decor is together those items seem to be a little bit more pricey and so i feel like it's smart to get the things separate as opposed to getting them all together because then you can kind of mix and match but also the pricing is going to be cheaper so the price point here that i noticed is anywhere between 200 lindens and up sometimes you'll find something a little bit more um, even more affordable than that that's not so bad for me this is good pricing um, especially because I tend to move a lot because I get bored with how my space looks and I just want to redecorate so I don't like spending a bunch of money on items um, in Second Life it's raining outside you guys you guys hearing that thunder so I really, really like to err on the side of more affordable items. Side note, when I purchase items, if they come in different colors like this, as long as I see that the item is copy and modify, I'll get the item in white. And for me, I get the item in white because then I can color it any color that I want to color it as opposed to getting one that might be like blue and then you can still color it, but your color options are not going to be as vast as if you would have gone with white. So that's a little trick that I use when I purchase furniture because then you can kind of repurpose it and reuse the item and it's kind of like a newer item for you. So let's go to the next spot. So now we're at North Oak. I absolutely love their items here. They actually have a 50 Linden Friday sale going on right now where you can get the couch or the um, vase for 50 Lindens. So definitely check them out if you haven't. The landmark for all of these places will be in the description box below. Their items are very reasonably priced for the quality. In my opinion, I love their items. Absolutely love them. They have lots of nice modern items as well as some more like classical outdoorsy type um, items, if you will. So they have this really nice shelving unit here. And then you can go here and you can pick the different colors and things like that. Now, I don't know if they offer the decor pieces in them. I don't know, but you probably can purchase them separately because they have the, the, va the vases or vases, however you say them over here. So you can like buy their decor items to add to their shelving units. And I really like that. 
So they have all different types of decor, lots of plants, lots of table toppers and things like that. I love their sinks, the lighting behind it, the meshing is so good. I love when stores can mix different um, times. So they have like some more modern pieces. Then they'll have some like real funky, upscale, futuristic type pieces too. So you can kind of, whatever type of decorator you are, they're gonna have a place or they're gonna have something for you here. I love these wicker baskets. They have a nice nature feel to them. I love, 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 I love a good shelf. I do. I, I love a good shelf. I love how they will offer you the shelf and then they give you the option to shop around for the decor pieces that can go on the shelf. That way you can be as creative as you want to be. These are more baskets. I love their beds. I love their beds. Their beds are very reasonably priced. Very, very reasonably priced. I love them. This bed, for instance, the adult version um, when I came to check this place out yesterday to just to check the pricing, this bed is like 450 lindens for the adult version, I do believe. And you get all of these colors for you get five different colors for the bed, the pillow, you know, the sheets, duvet, throw blanket and all of that. If you get the fat pack, you get every last one of these colors, all of these colors right here. So these are all the different colors that come in the fat pack. But if you just wanted like one certain set of colors, you could um, get that as well. Like if you just wanted some neutral colors or if you wanted some earth fabrics or warm, you could get the fabrics that just go with that. Super nice. I love, love, love this bed. I'm thinking about getting this bed. I'm, I'm keeping the thousand with y'all. Very nice bedding. Love it. So they also do have a couple kitchen options and I like their kitchens as well. Again, very modern, very chic looking kitchens. I'm not mad at it at all. Let's go to the next spot. So now we're at Bazaar. Bazaar will never not be on my list of furniture and decor spots. They just, they have it all. They've been around for a while and they know what they're doing. All of their items are very reasonably priced. I don't feel like you will find many places that have um, items that are more reasonably priced than Bazaar. You, they might be equal, but I don't know if the pricing is going to be better. So they do offer lots of different um, decor pieces as well as separate um, furniture items. And I really like that. You'll be able to find something here definitely, especially when you're just looking for a couple things. So say if you're putting something together and you're like, you know what, I just want a stack of books. So I just want a sculpture. You can find that here. I bought that head mannequin and I put it in my vanity area. So this is the store where you can furnish your entire home just from this one store if you wanted to, from bedrooms to living room furniture, they have it all here. This is my one-stop shop for bathrooms. I always come here when I'm looking for bathrooms or just bathroom accessories and things like that. They'll always have what I need here. Bazaar has some really nice dining options as well. This is one of my favorite places to go to for dining options, I must say. I love their chairs and the tables. I love all of the decorations. Everything is always so nicely done and they always give you the option to buy every single thing separately. So if you just want the place settings or just want the decor or the candlesticks or the table and just the chairs, you can always just buy the item separately. You don't have to worry about buying a full thing, a full pack of something. You can just get them individually if you like so now we're at Earthy. this is another one-stop shop for all your furniture and decor needs their items are very reasonably priced as well um however with their um like living room bedroom it seems items they do offer it in just one big pack but it's really reasonably priced so you'll get all of the um all of the items in this space for a pretty reasonable price in my opinion so Earthy does have so many different things that you can choose from. I love their wine cabinets. Everything is decorated so nicely. It just really, really makes you want to purchase it. I know that was the intent of it and they executed it perfectly. 
all of their items have such a nice modern and sophisticated feel to them i really really love the lighting on all of their items everything is always so nice this is another store that always participates in weekend sales and this is always one of my go-to places for weekend sales so they always have such nice items for the weekend sales so Earthy is making a lot of their items now PBR compatible so everything looks so nice very realistic I love the texturing on all of their items so unlike a lot of other places with Earthy's decor they do offer like chunkier packs so like you'll get this whole thing and this will all be like one piece but it might be like six prams or something like that but i don't think that's bad and because things are so reasonably priced it makes it okay to have pieces that are chunky like that but you can also um, unlink them and just have the some of the pieces separate so they have nice art and when i tell you just everything is so nice here so now we're at Fancy Decor. This is another one of my go-to places for um, furniture as well as decor, but mostly decor now. Um, their prices have gone up a tad bit, but so has the quality, so that is very understandable. They have some of the nicest decor pieces, in my opinion. I do go around to a lot of different places to shop, specifically for the weekend sales. But when it comes to fancy decor items, when I tell you, to me, they've always just been a cut above. Their meshing is like no other, especially now that everyone is getting into the PBR and things like that. The quality is just that much more detailed. So this is the group gift um, section. I have all of these. If you are a member of Fancy Decor, if you're in that group, I definitely would suggest you get in um, and get you some free items, some little knickknacks and decor. So look at this, so detailed, so beautiful. I love that it looks just like the picture. So they didn't go in and try to add anything to it. They're like, this is what it looks like. We saw this at the coffee shop at, what was the name of that? I'll put it up. It was at the Nest Sunbird. How cute is this? Look at these items, so detailed with the little dripping coffee. They have the little kombucha tray. Everything is so nice here. So I must admit that although this place was on my list or is on my list, I hadn't been here for a while. So when I came here just to kind of do an overview and check the pricing, there were so many new items that I had seen that I'd seen around other places. And I was like, oh, I wonder where they got that from. And I came here and I'm like, they got them from here. It's a lot of things that were here that people got them, um, where people got it from here. So with their items, their items are much like Bazaar. Um, if you hover over them, they'll give you the items. Um, some of them have like the little buy option because they'll have like a little pack right here where you'll get all of this on the tray. But a lot of their items, when it comes to the decor, you can kind of hover over it and it'll give you a pricing. I love their pieces. Everything at Fancy Decor, in my opinion, because it'll always be in my opinion, they're very modern upscale pieces. Everything is very in the now when it comes to a lot of their um, items, specifically their newer items. They do have some older items from back when um, furniture items were a little different. And so they cater to that as well. But I love all of their furniture pieces. They have such a nice flair. Their newer items, the animations, chef's kiss. That's all I'm gonna say, chef's kiss. So I really do appreciate that they made sure that they updated the quality of their items as well as the functionality of them with the times. They're not just like making new furniture and putting those same animations in them. And I really do appreciate that. I've always loved their like foyer pieces or foyer pieces, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, they always have like a nice sophisticated flair to them so like this set they give you like the little fat pack and i feel like the painting adds so much to the space where it looks like it's a lot going on but it's really only three pieces 
You can always find a nice furniture piece or a little knickknack and things like that. They had these on sale and I moved slow and I missed the sale and I really, really regret it because I was waiting for these items to go on sale and then when they went on sale, I missed the sale. You know, it happens. Fancy Decor has always been a one-stop shop for me as far as a place to come and just get you something for every single room in their house, in your house, and they still are. They still very much so are. So you'll be able to find nice sets. They have all different types of time pieces. If you like things with a little bit more Victorian flair or a nice mix of modern with a little dated, they have that as well. You'll find nice office options and different shelving units that can be repurposed for different things. I also love their bathrooms. All of their bathroom pieces are very um, reasonably priced and I do appreciate that again. I change things a lot in Second Life and so it's very important for me and to me to be able to purchase things that are not so pricey so that I don't feel no type of way about not using these items again. It's not about oh you know if you can afford Second Life you can afford Second Life. It's about being smart with how you do Second Life. And now we're at Balaclava and for me this place is more for decor than furniture they do offer furniture items but their decor items are really nice everything is super affordably priced if you are a decorator and you from time to time want to do like neighborhood decorating and things like that this is a really nice place to come and get little um decorative items that you can add to your space i really 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 love their decor items like i said they do offer um furniture items but for me i'm, I'm here for the decor so this store is huge as you can see and they have a little bit of everything and that's what i really really love about it but like i said their decor items are really nice this is another store that has been around sl for a very very long time and i always feel like when stores are around for this long they definitely know what they're doing they do have some of their older pieces mixed in with the newer and i do like that because their older pieces are nice as well Although this is a large store, they make sure that they space items out so that everything doesn't seem very like overbearing. Cause a lot of times for me, when it's a lot of things going on in a store, like specifically in the aisles, it kind of makes me, I'm, I'm overstimulated and I don't even want to shop because I'm like, it's just too much going on. Look at these hot dogs. So this is the space where you just kind of wander around and you're going to find some things for sure um, at this place. I love their sinks. They don't have a lot of sinks, but I love the options that they have. I actually have both of these sinks and they're super cute. If I remember correctly, they do not have animations, so you have to add your animations into them. But if you have another sink that has animations, that won't be an issue. So that's it y'all. The landmarks will be in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.